Hi friends, as always I'm super excited to see you here. If you're meeting for the first time, I'm Uma Shankar Pandey and this is the Dr. USP channel. I host videos on media, communication, statistics and research on this channel. To stay updated with the latest on this channel, I urge you to consider subscribing to the channel. IBM SPSS, earlier known as Statistical Package for Social Sciences and now known as Statistical Products and Services Solutions, is one of the most widely used package for statistical analysis. Let's find out more about how to enter data into SPSS. There are two important views in the SPSS interface. One is the data view, the other is the variable view. Today we'll find out more about the variable view. This is the SPSS interface. We have the data view here where we can find all different variables at the top. And these are all observations. These serial numbers are all observations. And here is the variable view. And this is what we are working today with. So we can see a name here, type, width, decimal, label, etc. And we'll find out what all these things are. So we start with uh, naming the variable first. For example, let's say the uh, first thing is age. So we just type in age there. The moment you click there, it immediately populates the other columns. By default, this is the numeric type. So SPSS deals with numbers, so it uh, suggests that this variable age is a numeric variable. We have to specify the width of the variable, how many digits we require for the variable, whether we want this to have any decimal places or not. For example, we do not require decimal places in age, so I'll put a zero there. The label is used to describe the variable in cases where we have a certain name for the variable and we want to find out in details about that, we'll write it here in the label. The column here describes how wide the variable will be on the uh, data view. Whether you want this to be right aligned, measure it is showing unknown and we know that there are three measures. The scale which is about numbers, ordinal when we are dealing with ranks and nominal when we are dealing with uh, strings or characters. So this is a scale we will put that. And by default the role has been put here as an input. So this is what uh, the uh, a variable looks like. If we go to the data view, we can see that the first column here says its age and we can see this scale here. So it suggests that this variable is a scale uh, or it has a measurement which is a scale measurement. We must remember certain things while naming the variable. For example, the variable cannot take in space. For example, if I try and type in a space there and try and input it there it will tell me that the variable name contains an illegal character it won't take space it will not take the colon or even the slash and such things so if i try and put in a colon there for example it will show me the same thing variable name contains an illegal character but it can take an underscore so in case we need more than one word we can use an underscore there so uh, let's start uh, talking about some likert variables there say for example i'm talking about trust we are doing some credibility measure and we want to find out trust as usual it will populate numeric so let, we'll let numeric there the width and the column we've already described for example let's say that we want the column to be shorter now so we'll just uh, put in uh, four here and here also we'll put four we don't want any decimals there, so we'll put zero there. Label, and this will be used to describe what this variable is. Here we can use space or anything. Trust in the news channel. This is the label. We can now input values to different uh, like at scale here for example 
uh, we know say for example we have a five scale likert scale and one means strongly disagree we'll add it here two disagree add three neither agree nor disagree we'll need to add it four means agree for our case for example five means strongly agree so we have given the values there and if we click on to this drop down we can see what the values are we can also copy the values for example whenever we have a similar likert scale for example there is another likert scale which is uh, believability we can simply copy down the values from here and we can paste it here so we need not type it again and again and we can have a similar label here belief in the news message like our scale as we know our scale variable so we'll just describe them as scale and we can cut down on the columns as well again it is zero and for example this is also four so we have described three variables here and we can see them in the data view here since we've used four for column width here we can see that it has become smaller if we want it to be of the regular size as the other ones we can just input eight here and it will be back to the original width if for certain cases we want it to be little wider we can just put in here a bigger number i can put it 10 here for example and this is what the data view will be so i have added three variables here and we can input the data for different observations about age, about trust, about belie believability. So we can have as many number of variables as required. So we can see here, it's about 43 variables here on this column. So we can have them all here on SPSS by describing it on the variable view. Thanks for staying along friends. As always, it was a delight having you here. I'll be back with another video very soon. Till then, have a great time.